Hey, everybody. This question uh, that I received from a, uh, from a student uh, is from the material handling module from the Simio Fundamentals um, training. And it has to do with the model that we built using a worker. And so the basic idea is that I have two different part types, part A and part B. They each require server uh, service at, at, a, um, uh, at one of the uh, one of the servers, either server A or server B, depending on part type. And you have a worker that's required to, uh, I, I can't remember whether it's set up the machine or to be there for processing one of the two. It doesn't really matter for this use case. Uh, and so the question I got, uh, let me show this model here. So the model is right here. So uh, here's the model. Uh, and so basically you can see that I have my, my source and uh, source one and source two and server one and server two. Uh, I have my worker, and my worker, uh, one of the things that we specified was that you wanted the uh, worker to go back to the lunchroom when they weren't busy, so you wanted them to return to their home node. So they were all set up uh, according uh, to that logic. And we also have the, the, the looping path, so workers can go uh, back and forth here, so you could go from the lunchroom to server one and back, lunchroom server two is back, you could go from server one to server two. Uh, directly. Uh, so that's the base model. And so when you run the model, you can see the workers, you know, move and process parts. Uh, and then when they're idle, they go back home. And so that behavior is, uh, is pretty much uh, what, uh, uh, what we wanted. So the question that I got from a student had to do with uh, an anomalous behavior that you see occasionally when I have both workers at a node. So like you see right there, let me see if I can pause that. I guess I didn't pause it quickly enough. Uh, so let me run again and see if we can get it somewhere else. Let's see. So you're going to see the two workers there. And let me pause it. Uh, no, nope. still didn't get it. Give me give me some time. I'll find us a salute. I'll find us one uh, scenario. There we go. Maybe this one. Let's see. There you go. So here's the anomalous behavior. You can see that I have both workers. I have worker two and worker one. And worker two is blue, indicating that the worker is idle. And so... Uh, the behavior should be that the worker who's idle uh, goes home. So you shouldn't be idle at the node. You should go back to home. And what the student recognized is that occasionally um, this didn't happen. And, with, and the question was, why, uh, why did that happen? And so this is a really interesting question uh, because there are several different factors that in combination lead to this basic uh, behavior. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it, stop the model, and then I'm going to go and turn off, uh, basically slow down arrivals here, because I want to just sort of force something to happen here so that we can explore it a little bit further. So I'll just make that uh, arrivals basically stop there for all practical purposes, and then I'm going to run the model here, and then I'm going to wait till that anomalous behavior happens, and then I'm going to uh, go through what the, uh, what the issue is. I think it happens right here around 0.13. Uh, in, in model runtime. So now they're both there. And there's, I'm sorry, now the, the second one's there. And now we see that here happening at point one three. And so we see that behavior in this case where worker one is, is at the node, but idle. So worker one showed up, then came back. Uh, I'm sorry, then finished work, but couldn't, uh, couldn't go. And so the question was, well, why is that happening? So as I said, there's several different things uh, uh, going on here with this model. There are three things that the combination of which causes this to happen, uh, that are all important concepts in Simio. First of all, point, so a node is a point in space. So a node has no area and no volume, it's just a point in space. And because entities have to exist somewhere in, in Simio space, when an entity is at a node, they're not actually off the link. So when an entity, uh, when the worker uh, travels to the node, the worker's actually still on the link. Okay, the worker's not off the link because the park, the, the default behavior for a worker, and this is the second uh, problem or the second uh, issue, is that the default behavior is not park while busy because the basic node provides a default parking station. And so if you say, okay, I want the entity, the worker to park while busy, then they're going to get off the, the path. They'll get off the path. And so they're parked at the node rather than uh, at the node. The third issue that we have here has to do with bidirectional paths. So we have the uh, path here from, well, let me zoom out a little bit more, from the lunchroom to node one uh, is bidirectional, which means workers can go uh, in both directions. But in Simeo, while a 
bi-directional path supports movement in both directions, it's only one direction at a time. Right? So you can't have entities moving in both directions at the same time. So the link at any point in simulated time, the link is either going from left to right or right to left, and it can't be going both. And so that behavior that you saw, if we run here, let me run again while till we get to that point again, uh, is caused by that, the combination of those three things. So what happens here, let me let it get to that uh, point one, three point that we were at before. So there's worker one, uh, pretty soon now worker two's there, now worker one is there. Okay, so what's happening is worker one is finished. And if you look at what happens when a, when a uh, worker finishes, uh, they're using a method uh, called exit and return. Uh, so, or, or let me go back here and look at this. So you have uh, exit and re-enter uh, for network turnaround because I want this worker to turn around and go back. And so what happens is the worker exits the node and turns around to go back in the other direction. But since the worker two is here, okay, again, let me fast forward to that uh, uh, to that point in time. Uh, since worker two is there, uh, let me let it get there. It's just going to take it a second here. Okay, so now worker two is there, and now worker one is exited and is waiting to return, but it can't because the bidirectional path is set to go from left to right because worker two is there. And so worker two is now waiting to for the, the, the direction of the bidirectional path uh, to be changed. So if I continue to run, then what happens when worker two finishes then the direction of the path can change and both entities can then, the, the worker uh, one then is able to re-enter the network, worker two loops uh, and re-enters uh, the network also. So again, the three issues here that we have in combination is the concept that a Simeo node is a point in space and doesn't have any, any area or volume. So when an entity is there, is, is at a node, uh, it's still actually somewhere else in space. In this case, it's still on the link. Uh, workers don't park by default, uh, and the third one is that is how bidirectional paths actually work. So, what are the solution to this problem? So there are two easy solutions. Uh, one basically says let's not use bidirectional paths. So I have this model two here, where I replace the bidirectional paths with two paths in alternating direction. Now, note that I have these separated just so that you can watch and see what's happening. But you can have these uh, aligned. You can have these on top of each other so it actually looks like one path. It looks like a bidirectional path, but it will actually have that unidirectional behavior. And so it goes in one and out the other. And so now the fact that they're on that the uh, worker two is there doesn't affect worker one being able to get back to the um, uh, get back to the home node. So if you don't use bidirectional paths, you don't see that problem. And the second solution is to just change this behavior uh, of the worker. So I go to the worker and I just set this park while busy to true. And so now when I have the park while busy true, you can see what happens is they've actually moved off the network into the parking station. And so when both entities are, are at the same node, they're not actually still on the network. And so they're both they're both going to be there here in just a second. And so the first one now is able to just go immediately back because the direction of the uh, of the link can change. So in this case, both of those solutions work. In some cases, you're going to want to use the unidirectional path. In other cases, you might want to use uh, the parking behavior. But the critical aspect here is to understand what's causing that problem. Uh, and then once you determine what causes the problem, then it's relatively straightforward through some searching of help or sim bits or something like that to figure out uh, what the solution is or what a potential solution is. So the last thing I want to do in this Q&A uh, session is talk a little bit about finding the problem. Uh, and understanding how to do this is critical to understanding how to do modeling. It's not that you immediately look at, it's not that you look at the problem and immediately know the answer. So when, they, when the student emailed this to me, I didn't look at the model and immediately know, hey, okay, I know exactly what's going on. You have to figure out what's going on. And so that's part of the model, learning to model process is learning how to debug a model. So in this case, what I did was, I've already shown, I isolated the behavior. So I just changed, oops, let me stop that. I just changed this guy to hours so that I could force a behavior uh, to happen right here. And then the next thing that we do is turn, that I did, is turn the model trace on. So if I turn the model trace on uh, here and I have that isolated behavior that I know is going to happen around 0.13, um, let's let that run for a second, then I'm going to pause it and then we'll look at the trace together. 
uh, to see what what happened. So at this point, when I'm running, I still when I when this problem was originally sent to me, I still didn't really know exactly what was going on. You know, I had a suspicion, but I didn't really know. So I want to get to that point where the anomalous behavior happens right there. And so then I can go in and look and say, well, what is this? Well, this is worker one. This is worker one, one. So item one of the population of worker one. So remember when uh, we have worker objects, they have a name, they have the uh, object uh, instance name. In this case, it's worker one. And then we have a population of those. So one and two. And so then I can go in my trace and I can look for observations of worker one. And so here you see that worker one here on the entity uh, and the object. And so I can go and look at that. I can filter this down. So if I wanted to, to filter this, I could say, well, you know, I really only want to see worker one. Uh, and this is a really simple one, so I'm not going to do that. But in general, that's what I would do in a more complicated case. And then I just go look and say, well, what's going on here? And so what's going on here is that uh, I look here and it says worker one, one is turning around basic node using the network exit and re-enter. Okay, and worker one is waiting at basic node to transfer to path five. So now when I saw this, I said, okay, well, the worker has exited and is now waiting to return. And so the question is, why can't they return to the network? And that led me down this uh, path, if you will, to, to say, okay, okay, it's a bi-directional path. And so now I have uh, entity two coming there. And so diagnosing in this case is the hardest is the hardest part of figuring out exactly what's going on. Now that you know what's going on, then you can say, well, what I need to do is either not have a bi-directional path or I need to somehow remove the workers from the network while they're performing the task so that I don't have this, this blocking behavior. So that was an excellent question. It gave me an opportunity to talk about these, you know, these uh, several different important uh, uh, semio concepts.